fellow Americans, millions of families across our nation are suffering under the disaster known as Obamacare. Traveling throughout our country over the last two years, I have met so many of these wonderful Americans, and I have never forgotten their stories. In Wisconsin, I recently met a proud veteran and his wife, Michael and Tammy Cushman. When they were forced onto Obamacare and the exchange in 2015, they thought they would be able to keep their doctor, but they couldn't. They thought they would be able to keep their plan, but they weren't allowed. They were told their premiums would go down, but instead they soared by 120 percent upward. It was one Obamacare lie after another. Today, the Cushmans spend $1,400 a month on health insurance, nearly one-fourth of their entire net monthly income. On the same visit, I met another family, Robert and Sarah Stahl. Robert is a volunteer captain for his local fire department. After their Obamacare premiums nearly doubled, they needed extra money, and Sarah had no choice but to leave retirement to pay their bills. But this new income meant they were no longer eligible for the tax credit they had once received, and the federal government actually forced them to repay thousands and thousands of dollars. These families and so many others are victims of a catastrophic law that is wreaking havoc on our health care system and our families. Democrats in Congress created this calamity, and now, if we don't act, millions more Americans will be hurt by Obamacare's deepening death spiral. Americans were promised lower premiums, more choices, and better access. Instead, premiums have doubled nationwide, and insurers are still fleeing the market that Obamacare has nearly destroyed. Americans in nearly one-third of all counties have only one insurer to choose from on the exchanges, and many markets may soon have no insurers at all. It really is a disaster. The American people are calling out for relief, and my administration is determined to provide it. And we are working with Congress to get a bill to my desk so we can rescue Americans from this catastrophe. As families across the nation continue to suffer under this law, I only hope that Democrats in Congress will have the political courage to help fix what we know to be a catastrophic situation, a total disaster that they have created, to be part of the solution instead of obstructing, always obstructing change, blocking reform, and doubling down on Obamacare's failure. But no matter what, my administration will never stop fighting for you and for the health care system that you deserve. We'll get it done even if we don't have any help from the Democrats, we'll get it done. Thank you, God bless you, and God bless America.